This is Jason Bond with the Virginia Department of Transportation's Communications Office, and I'm here today to talk about the Route 460 Connector Project in Blacksburg. This is a really exciting large project for our area here in Southwest Virginia, and joining me to talk about it is our preliminary engineering manager, Tommy DeJoyan. So Tommy, can you tell me a little bit about this project? Sure, Jason. Uh, the primary goals of this project is really to improve safety and also improve traffic flow. Uh, currently today there's an existing uh, traffic signal at existing Southgate Drive here at 460. That's the only traffic signal on 460 for 37 miles from I-81 all the way to the town of Narrows. Uh, so removing that signal uh, is one of the main goals to improve safety. In addition, we'll be replacing that with a diverging diamond interchange at this location, again, to improve the safety as well as improve traffic flow through the area. So what are some of the other features on this project? Uh, I think someone mentioned there were roundabouts on the project. Yes, Jason. Well, by moving the, the interchange down to this location, we will be relocating Southgate Drive to this location. So the existing Southgate Drive will go away. This will be the new uh, Southgate Drive. We'll include uh, roundabouts at the intersection with Duck Pond Drive as well as a roundabout here at the intersection of Southgate and Research Center Drive. Uh, Research Center Drive is being relocated over in this location due to uh, the airport's runway extension project, which extends across existing Research Center Drive. It also extends across the Huckleberry Trail, requiring us to relocate the Huckleberry Trail around the end of the runway like that. Now you mentioned a diverging diamond interchange. Why was that type of interchange configuration chosen and what can you tell us about it? Okay, okay Jason, here's a, a graphic showing the diverging dime and it was selected for several reasons. Uh, one of which was it has a smaller footprint than many other interchange types so we're reducing the impacts and the property required to build it. One of the other benefits is that it does, it's very efficient in moving traffic. Uh, it handles left turn movements very well. Uh, you'll see as we talk about it, it has short cycle lengths on the, on the signals, which means more green time for the drivers and provides free lefts. And we'll walk you through a couple of the movements on it. And one of the things you'll notice, uh, the diverging diamond, also known as the double crossover, is as you move through the interchange, as you're moving south on Southgate Drive, you'll come to the signal, you'll cross over to the left side of the road in order to proceed onto 460 East. Similarly, if you're coming eastbound on 460 wanting to enter campus, you'll come up the ramps, you'll be directed to the left side of the, of the roadway, up to the signal, and then you'll cross back over to the, to the right side of the road. Well, I'm sure that drivers will love to hear that they'll be getting more green time when they're traveling through this interchange. When is this all is this supposed to start and how much is it gonna cost? Uh, we'll be starting construction next spring, 2015, and we'll have the roadways open to traffic in the fall of 2017. The total project cost on this is $46.7 million. It sounds like a lot of work. How will people be impacted by the construction? That's a great question, Jason. Let's walk over to this other board and, and we'll talk a little bit about that. One of the things you'll notice, Jason, is that the, the interchange as well as New Southgate Drive is located outside of the existing Southgate Drive. So you have existing 460 here in Southgate. Much of this work will be done outside of traffic. We will have some uh, work uh, adjacent to 460 as we're constructing the interchange bridges. Um, there will be some, some impacts to traffic with uh, maybe some short-term lane and shoulder closures in that location. We'll also have some impacts as we're constructing this roundabout on top of existing Southgate Drive. Much of that work will be done in the summer as well as at night in order to, to minimize the impacts to traffic. Is the Virginia Tech Dairy Complex being relocated? It is, Jason. As we talked earlier, the airport is, it has plans uh, to extend the runway up in this direction. As part of that runway extension, uh, they have basically an easement area or an area where that facility is not suitable anymore. So Virginia Tech is actually in the process of relocating those facilities to another location. So when all this work is completed, what benefits will people see? As we talked before, Jason, I think improved safety along 460, uh, improved access into campus, as well as improved access into the Corporate Research Center. The Corporate Research Center um, employs about 2,600 people today, and as you can see from the photographs, they're continuing to span, so it's, it'll, they'll, they'll definitely see a, uh, improved access to those facilities. Well, this really does sound like a, a great project, and I really appreciate you taking the time today to explain it to me and, and tell me more about it. You're very welcome. Thank you.